Okay, so today I'm going to talk about something really quick. Give me less than four minutes. We'll talk about this super vented bee veil that's going to shade your head when it's super hot outside in your bee yard. Now, this way I don't have to wear sunglasses. It's inexpensive. Air passes right through it on super hot days. That's going to keep you from perspiring. And if you're taking videos and pictures the way I do, I don't want to wear sunglasses. I want to wear my reading glasses. This thing is cheap. It's made inexpensive. You can look at the single stitching here. It's uneven. It's off to the side. The veil's pretty decent. The hat is comfortable and super flexible. This stitches in the lower ring that keeps the veil out away from your head. So it's like a cowboy hat. And then this looks like a nylon mesh across the back. And then we have the underarm straps are going to hold it on. So I'm going to put it on for you and show you how it works. These little clips that come down the back are on these elastic strips, which will probably lose their elasticity pretty quick but it's adjustable. I also recommend going ahead and clipping these to the front short pieces because when you put this thing on you really can't reach back and draw those clips around. It also has a chin strap. The chin strap has a little spring-loaded retainer there. I wonder whether you even need this. It's kind of in the way so I might recommend clipping it out of there. But if you're in a windy area, it's a big hat, but the air kind of passes through it, so that's up in the air. I'm just going to show it because it's part of it. Stitching again, pretty uneven. This is the center stitching from the back of the hat. And of course, it's lower in the back than it is in the front, so shorter veil, which is pretty characteristic of other veils. I have other veils that are running me over $50, so this under $20, super cheap. Little cotton band there, it's really not going to absorb much perspiration. So you're still going to have to wear your sweatband or whatever outside band on it here. Again, inexpensively made. Looks pretty decent. It's tan. I'm going to put it on for you. So here it is in my bee yard. And if you're going to walk out and look at your bees, especially this time of year, that can be a little bit on the testy side. And once in a while, you get that bee that flies out, stings you right on the nose, the eyelid, the ear, recently for me. And I wondered, why did I even walk out there without my bee veil? So if you're going to work with your bees, at a minimum, please wear a veil. Keep them from stinging your face. A lot of people will say that they can just walk out there with just their sunglasses or no protection at all. And then the next thing you know, you've got stung for on the temple or somewhere else. This is a very inexpensive veil that you can just toss in the back seat of your car. You get a swarm call. You've got this thing with you. I think right now they marked it down to $17.99. I bought this on Amazon. This is not a sponsored review or anything like that. I was just looking for a broad brimmed cowboy hat style veil that would shade my face, allow air to pass through it, and let me get out there and check the bees out. So again, just clip those first, stick your arms through, and uh, it's on. It's ready to go. So you could, of course, add another layer of, you know, making yourself less interesting. If you want to wear a long sleeve white cotton shirt, for example, you can really get away with minimal gear going out in your bee yard. But for all the people that are learning about bees from me, I highly recommend that you at least wear a veil when you go out, no matter what you're doing, because you just never know. So that's it for this review. Thanks for watching. I hope it benefited you. And uh, right now, these are on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. It is an affiliate link. So thanks for watching. Have a great beekeeping day.